The Mandalorian has a problem, but first some praise. The finale of episode 5 was possibly the best action sequence in the show so far. It felt really blockbuster movie level. We finally get to see what all that beach dancing was for. Epic aerial dogfights, cool ninja Mando street fights. I particularly like this one where the pirate face slammed in front of two Babu Friggers. Let's not forget, but rather remember. No Russian. And last but not least, Gorian Shard's kamikaze mission. Which leads me to my point. When they first showed this guy in episode 1, I was really excited for this character. Despite all the David Jones jokes and Atriox comparisons, he looked really cool. Star Wars has been relying a lot on Clone Wars cameos for hype lately, but this grass man hyped me up almost as if it was a cameo, even though it was a completely new character. I think this short-sightedness with the Mandalorian is a bit of a problem. Why not keep this guy around for larger story arcs? He appeared at the very end of episode 1 like he was a huge deal, was completely irrelevant for most of the season, comes back and is dead in a second. What? How can you do this? I had the same problem with the book of Boba Fett, they bring Cad Bane into live action. Huge hype! Dead! They die now! Fast! Why not have Cad Bane win at the end and go, Boba Fett, I'm coming back for a season two. No, I'm gonna get you, Cad. I'll be back with two Benthas the next time. Boba's lust for revenge could have been a focal point of a season two, but even George Lucas made the same mistake when he killed off Maul too soon as well. Luckily he managed to bring that guy back. Gonna be a little bit harder here. I think fire counters grass, right? 